The HAL Tejas MK2 represents not just an evolution but a revolution in India's indigenous fighter jet program. Beyond the visible airframe changes, its deeper transformation lies in the software-driven flight control architecture and system integration philosophy. The MK2's flight control system is a quadruplex digital fly-by-wire system, designed with multiple redundancy channels to ensure absolute safety and reliability even in the event of system failure. Engineers at ADA have focused heavily on control laws that enhance maneuverability without compromising stability. The system will allow the pilot to perform high angle of attack maneuvers with greater confidence while maintaining precise handling. Another key advancement is the improved flight management system which fuses inputs from sensors, navigation units, and mission computers into one seamless operating network, reducing pilot workload and improving situational awareness during combat or complex mission scenarios. One of the defining strengths of the Tejas MK2 is its indigenous weapons integration plan. The jet is designed to carry a wide range of Indian-developed missiles such as the Astra MK-1 and MK-2 for air-to-air -air combat, the Rudram family of anti-radiation missiles for sea suppression of enemy air defenses missions, and precision-guided munitions developed by DRDO. Future compatibility is expected with advanced standoff weapons and next-generation glide bombs. Engineers have ensured open architecture to allow easy integration of imported or joint-developed weapons if necessary. The MK2's mission computer is programmed to support multiple weapon interfaces and targeting pods simultaneously, which gives it true multirole flexibility, from dogfighting to deep strike. The data fusion between radar, IRST, and electronic warfare sensors will enable the pilot to detect, prioritize, and engage targets using a combination of sensors rather than relying on one source alone, which is a major step toward 4.5 plus generation combat capability. When it comes to survivability, the MK2 incorporates a comprehensive defensive suite built to handle both electronic and physical threats. Its radar warning receiver provides real-time alerts of incoming radar signals, while the missile approach warning system uses optical sensors to detect missile launches. The electronic countermeasure system automatically deploys chaff and flares or activates jamming signals to confuse enemy radars. The jet's structure also includes limited radar-absorbing composites to minimize detectability. Designers have improved fuel tank protection and engine bay fire suppression systems, and the canopy and cockpit are built with advanced crashworthiness standards to increase pilot safety in emergencies. This combination of active and passive defenses gives the Tejas MK2 high survivability even in heavily contested airspace where radar-guided and infrared-guided threats are common. The manufacturing process for the Tejas MK2 is another area where HAL has adopted modern practices to enhance efficiency and precision. The company is implementing full digital production using advanced 3D design and computer-aided engineering. Every component is digitally mapped to ensure perfect fit and reduce rework time. Laser scanning and robotic assembly methods are expected to be used for parts alignment and surface accuracy. The assembly line will rely on modular jigs and quick connect systems, reducing the time needed to transition from prototype to mass production. HAL is also developing an integrated logistics and supply network within India to reduce dependency on foreign suppliers. These measures not only speed up production but also improve quality control and cost management, essential factors if India aims to export. The MK2 in the future. The Tejas MK2's export potential has generated significant global attention. Several friendly nations operating older fourth-generation aircraft are looking for affordable, modern fighters, and the MK2 could meet that demand. Countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America have shown interest in India's indigenous defense products, especially given the performance-to-cost ratio offered by HAL's jets. With its advanced avionics, reliable engine, and wide weapons compatibility, the MK-2 of May appeal to nations seeking a capable multirole aircraft without the high costs of Western fighters. HAL and the Indian government are expected to create a dedicated export version once the domestic induction stabilizes. This could make the Tejas MK-2 one of the most successful defense export products India has ever produced, bolstering its reputation as an emerging aerospace power. In the larger strategic context, the Tejas MK-2 is not just an aircraft, it symbolizes India's journey toward technological independence and self-reliance in defense. 
The project reflects decades of learning from the Light Combat Aircraft Program and demonstrates how indigenous innovation, when supported consistently, can yield world-class results. It bridges the gap between light fighters like the Tejas MK-1A and upcoming stealth platforms such as the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA. The MK-2 will ensure that India's Air Force retains a robust and flexible fleet mix capable of responding to modern threats while relying increasingly on homegrown technology. With its rollout approaching, the world is watching as India prepares to unveil a jet that not only strengthens national defense but also showcases the maturity and ambition of the country's aerospace industry.